a part of me wanted to do music, you know, because um, I was doing music at the same time, you know, like I was, I was rapping and formed a group from when I was very young. And I was doing it and I enjoyed it, you know, I, you know, from the 80s, I was into the classics, I was into your Public Enemy, I was into your LL Cool J, I was into your, your Master Ace, your KRS One, you know, I was, I was heavy into hip hop music, like the greats, do you know what I mean? Your, your, your Rakeems, you, you know, like anyone that knows, knows, you know, from hearing those names. So I was into rapping, you know, um, I was in a group at the same time, you know, formed a group and was rapping. So when I started playing football, you know, like I had injury and it was kind of like a repetitive injury that kept coming and going. And I just got deeper into my music, you know, so it's almost like I just said, I'm going to continue doing my music, you know, so, so it's almost like, even though it ended, it wasn't like there was nothing, you know, like a lot of young boys that we know, they they are in academies and they're going to become pro ballers and then there's no football and there's nothing, there's, there's no other dream, there's no other lane, there's no other vision. And that really impacts a lot of people significantly. Um, for myself, I just, I just took the other lane and I, I became a, you know, a professional recording artist, you know, so it's almost like I've seen that transition again from doing something I really enjoyed and it was fun and had the torch in the mirror and just really like, it was that, but then it became a professional career, going to studio lane tracks, you know, making music and going to do stage shows, doing radio shows, doing radio interviews, doing magazine interviews. And it was still fun, but it was more of a profession, you know, opening up for artists like Busta Rhymes, opening up for artists like Wu-Tang, rapping on stage with Redman, uh, going on Radio 1, being on MTV, you know, um, I really see a lot of great things come from it, you know, going to London, come down London a number of times, you know, run the P. I spent time with Randy P, um, was on Numbers Show 279 a number of times on Choice. You know, like, yeah, done it, you know. <laughs> you know, um, so so that kind of became a next career that, that I transitioned. And it is funny because I see leadership all the way through because um, when I was in football, I was a captain you know, predominantly playing a captain. And even when I never had a captain's armband, I had that kind of influence of leading others, you know, and then from going to music, I formed the group and I led the group and I helped us to get management and I went to support the promoters to get on shot. You know, so it's, it was like a different lane, but still a number of the same attributes and qualities going across. 